In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, it's strange, really it is strange, that we as human beings, we can't even explain the signs of our eyesight. You realize that? Even the brilliant doctors for human history, no one can really explain the mystery of how our body works. How come the whole universe functions? I mean, we can't explain even the color of a beautiful rose. Then some churches, they're fighting, trying to explain the Eucharist, the Holy Communion. How can this be the body of Christ? How can this be the blood of Christ after consecration of this? Well, you know, I don't like this word, but I will use it. Hopefully, you will not misunderstand me. You know, in our culture, there is a word called mantram, mystery. So, what is that? It is prayer. It is a prayer to the Holy Spirit and the Holy Trinity, not to demons and Satan, no. So, where does this prayer come from? That's a question. Did I make it, your metropolitan? No. As a matter of fact, in the very first century when the church began, the first bishop of the Holy Church in Jerusalem, Saint James, the first Episcopa, he gave to us the words and prayers we should pray for conducting the Holy Communion or the Eucharist. It is known as a St. James Liturgy. And believers, Eastern Church, we abide with the ancient prayers and liturgy. Not something we made. So you see, these prayers are not something we do for ourselves. We pray in accordance with what Jesus himself must have done while his disciples watched. So when we pray those prayers and when we bow our head and when we ask the Lord for mercy, we are doing exactly what the early apostles and Apostle Paul and the early Christians did. And we continue to be in the same river of the Holy Church. The Eucharist assembly, we gather around the Lord Jesus Christ to partake of his life. What a privilege. Blessings on you.